Welcome to video number five where I'm going to be talking about creating your keywords for your listings. So we already have our designer, we have designs created. Now we have to actually do the keyword research that is actually going to sell our products. This is how people are going to find it. So keyword research is very, very important and having the right keywords on your listings is the main way that you're going to be selling these products. So let's get right into it. Take out a notepad on your computer or a physical notepad and just jot down these two things, main keyword, uh, main keywords and alternate keywords. We're gonna be grouping our keywords into two different categories. This is what I do for every product that I upload and this is what I teach my team to do for everything that I upload, either on Amazon or on Etsy. What we need to do is first, I'm going to search for a product. I'm just gonna say, since we're a baby store, uh, personalized baby let's do a blanket I guess so if we let's say that our product is this bears and mountains baby blanket so what we want to do is find keywords that are related to similar listings like this that are doing really well and jot those down so obviously there are trees and bears on this design we want to have that in there and this is a personalized item so we're going to definitely have personalized and custom in there so what we're going to put is um, in our main keywords, we're gonna have personalized for sure, and we're gonna have custom, all right? So those are the two words that we need definitely in this. Then we're gonna have, since it's a bears thing, we're gonna have bears on it. We're gonna have mountains. So this listing has mountains. We're gonna have trees, and we're gonna have blanket, obviously. And we're gonna have unisex or boy girl i'm gonna put in boy girl because sometimes when people are typing uh these things in it's gonna say you know they're gonna say personalized bear blanket for boy all right so we want to make sure that we have boy or girl in our listing and obviously when you're doing these this keyword research it's going to be different for every single every single type of product and every type of niche so this is probably going to take up most of your time as far as creating the actual listing so we got some main keywords in there um, let's go and search for other products related to this that might have some different keywords that we can put in let's see here so we got personalized there's a bear one there's a bear one there's a bear one here's a bear one so we can look at all these listings and see what actual keywords that they're using so they got baby blanket baby name blanket all right so we definitely have to put in name because ours is gonna have name on it too so baby boy I'm just gonna put baby in there and then boy girl Let's see mountain Fox tribal you know depending on the actual design of your product that's what you want to put in so if this has arrows in, on it you want to put arrows in the title if has mountains on it you want to put mountains if it has bears and fox and all that kind of stuff that's what you want to put in your title you want to put in whatever the actual design is um, onto your title so this is the main keywords that we're going to be using for ours because it's very similar to others on on the market now alternate keywords I like to look at the actual descriptions if you go in um, on the right side here so item details says how to order so this is the in Jersey beanie hat swaddle fees if you do not include okay that does not make does not help us all at all so baby boy blanket Sherpa personalized this is a Sherpa blanket meaning it's got that fluffy stuff on the inside we could put gift in there we could put Christmas in there let's see let's learn more and item details so baby blanket um, perfect gift for baby boy or Christmas so gift uh, Christmas Let's see swaddle blanket fleece blanket sherpa blanket v okay basically what i'm doing is just going through the description and trying to find keywords that are related to my actual product and this is a lot easier when you have a simpler product like a t-shirt but these blankets are definitely they have different fabrics and all that kind of stuff and as you can see all these sellers who are selling this type of stuff have the pretty much the same description for everything except for the first couple words you know might be different based on the actual design of the product so nursery travel blanket nursery travel blanket blanket cute Andy Let's see so perfect gift or so expecting moms babies homecoming uh, baby's birthday uh, nurseries 
So we have a lot of different keywords that we can put in for our main keywords and for our alternate keywords. So this is what we're going to use to go in and create our titles from. Now you may want to keep a few of these tabs open related, you know, similar products uh, open to cr actually create your titles and descriptions from. Hopefully we can go in and go back to our listing and start creating our actual uh, title description and tags. So we'll see you guys in the next video where we're starting to add our listing.